Know what every person is putting on the table so that you don't expect milk from a starving cow. Don't take it as if uh, it's the responsibility of the other person to make the relationship work. It is your responsibility to make the relationship work. Never be ignorant about relationships. Relationships are powerful. Yes, welcome to the Wisdom Talk. I'm Joe Wisdom. And uh, this is a wonderful, wonderful season. It's a wonderful time. And I'm very sure that uh, our episodes have been a blessing to you. Thank you for following us. Thank you for being a blessing to us. And uh, thank you for always sharing the links and also subscribing to Wema TV. We are here because of you. Uh, we thank you for the feedback that you have also been receiving from you people, the engagements that you people have given us. I want to appreciate even the speaking engagement, the training engagements that we have had out of these forums. So we can say that uh, our engagement with you is bearing fruits. And uh, that's why every time we come to you, we come to you with new information, new ideas, ideas that are meant to help us grow in the marketplace, ideas that are supposed to help us relate with one another. And uh, today I'm coming to us uh, talk about relationships and uh, wisdom, wisdom for relationships. And, and, and I want to take a different dimension on relationships. I don't want to talk about intimate relationships today. I want to talk about relationship that touches on, 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 on what we do on a daily basis, our, our, our relationship with other people, our relationships with each other, and how we are able to navigate uh, around ourselves. You realize that um, life, life revolves around relationships. We are here because we are alive because of relationship. You are where you are because of a relationship. Someone connected you to what you are doing today. Someone directed you to where you are today. Someone guided you to where you are today. That is life and life is a product uh, of relationships and we need to value the relationships that we have we need to value the relationship every person that God brings to your life God brings people in your life for a particular assignment and for a particular season there are people who are in your life for for one year there are people who are in your life for five years there are people who are in your life for a lifetime and it's good to identify those that those, those people that God have connected you divinely so that you don't dare disconnect it is catastrophic to disconnect from people that God have divinely connected you. Uh, I, I know of some of the people, some of the friends that you have related for so long. Uh, sometimes, uh, uh, actually, I think uh, some days ago, I was I was speaking in a, in a forum. A friend of mine who have a, a real estate company had invited me to go and, and, and speak to his staff, uh, a sales training. And I was telling them how we have related with their boss for so long, for a long time, more than 15 years. Actually, more than 15. And today we are still together. He still engages me. By that time, we had nothing. By that time, we were uh, into court. We were hustling. And, and, and that time, no one had anything. Actually, I, I remember because we met at a function. We met, um, we, we met in church. We met in church. And uh, the, the pastor, our pastor that time, uh, asked us to pray for one another and I remember uh, uh, holding his hands and he was praying for me and I and and the pastor asked us to to ask our 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 our, our colleagues now who, what is what would you want God to do to you and that gentleman told me he's called Moses Moses Rehoboth Builders Moses told me that I want to I want you to tell God to to empower me to become a kingdom financier I had never had such <laughs> I had never heard such a word. You know, being a kingdom financier, that time I've even struggling to get food. Another person is dreaming here to be a kingdom financier. And I remember now telling God, I think I also need to be one. But I didn't even have a revelation. What does a kingdom financier mean? So we began our journey there. Right now he is doing, he has his own company, doing uh, property management um, property management and, and rent collection and all that. And, and I thank God that, uh, you know, relationships are so powerful. Today, if his team needs to be trained, he can't invite anyone else. I'm their trainer. Why? 
relationships. There are so many other doors that have opened, so many other companies, you know, that have, that, that have invited me to go and train their staff. Why? Because of relationship. There are friends who have literally connected me to, 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 to other companies. There are people who have connected me to their churches. There are people who have connected me to their families and have gone there and become a blessing to them. I've also, in, I've also recommended so many people in different spheres of life just because of relationship. Let me tell you, never be ignorant about relationships. Relationships are powerful. It is through relationship that we network. And that is why someone said that you are, you are, you, you, your network is your net worth. So don't be careless about the people you relate with. Don't be careless about people that you are growing with. Uh, I, I, I remember telling someone that nowadays making a friend is a very difficult thing. Making new friends is not easy. If I met you today, uh, perhaps for you, 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 you are very new to me and we meet possibly in an event. And in two days time after we, we introduce each other and uh, we exchange our numbers, if after two days I call you trying to borrow you some money, you block me. You block me. You even say how this guy is after money. But you know, I can have a genuine need of money. And I, I thought I could count on you. I want to show you that making new friends is not easy. Some friends will disconnect you because you have made a certain demand. But there are people you will call, people you have known for a long time. You will call them, you need money. Even if they don't have that money, they will borrow to, 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 to sort you out. So don't be ignorant. Don't belong to that category of people who keep, uh, who keep burning bridges. Be careful about how you relate with the people. You know? If you have people, you have resources. If you have people, you can't get stranded. And have meaningful relationships. Don't just have relationships that are parasitic. We say that if a relationship is more parasitic than symbiotic, it's a relationship that you should quit. Have relationships that add value. And everyone have got something. And I keep saying in this platform that the worst thing is to expect something from someone who doesn't have it. So you can define all your relationships. Define all your relationships. Define all your relationships. Know what each person is bringing on board. Know what every person is putting on the table. So that you don't expect milk from a starving cow. So that you don't expect something, so that you can manage your expectations. So relationships are powerful. Relationships are powerful. Something is that I want uh, that I also want to talk uh, to say about relationships is that um, you should always, you know, you 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 must also be found faithful in those relationships. What do I mean by being found faithful? If someone shares with you something in confidence please don't breach that trust don't let someone share with you if someone is vulnerable to you and they are sharing their weaknesses it is immoral it is wicked to go sharing and exposing that person to other people never hit someone below the belt never hit someone on the basis of their weakness it is dangerous. It is dangerous to hit someone on the basis of their weaknesses. Some of these weaknesses are inborn. These are weaknesses. These are things that, you know, th th there are some people, no matter how much they try, they will always find themselves doing something. There are some appetites that cannot be arrested. And you realize that some of these things are also in the bloodline. You know? If you know that if you share something with your friend, they will, they, they will share with others. Please, the answer is not, the, the, the solution is not uh, blaming the person every time. The solution is stop sharing with that person. And if you have to share, don't share sensitive information. So it's up to you to have a way of making this relationship work.
Don't take it as if uh, it's the responsibility of the other person to make the relationship work. It is your responsibility to make the relationship work. And every relationship, in every relationship there must be sacrifice. What are you sacrificing for that relationship? That is why some people feel abused. They feel misused. They feel mishandled. Why? They feel like they are the only ones sacrificing for the relationship. So when we talk about relationship, we are talking about people that God has brought in our lives for a particular cause, in a particular season, for a particular time. It becomes very, very, very important for all of us to take care of one another. If you realize, let, let, let me just share this. There are people that I have related for a long time. Some of them were my colleagues in college, others in primary schools, others in high school. And let me tell you, at this moment, you find that this guy is in the marketplace and possibly there was a nickname that you used to call each other in high school. And you find this guy with his 10, 20 employees and you begin calling him the nickname. That is immoral. That's not correct. That's not good. You must also know the boundaries. You must know the boundaries of that relationship. How, can you how far can you extend a joke? You don't need to go calling someone their nickname if they are not comfortable with it. I remember there is a, there, there, there is a book. Uh, there, there, there is a book we did in high school uh, called Sikujema. And when we did Sikujema, we also did another book called... Uh, uh, Aminata. And in the book Aminata, there was, uh, th th there was a character called Ababio. And do you know that guy never, used, you know, he used to, he never used to understand anything. He was called a master for, of ordinary jobs. Uh, and in that play, there are some guys we had nicknamed in class as Ababio. You can imagine if I find someone who is doing, who is in the marketplace, he's in his place of work, he's, he have like 20 or 10 staff members, and I'm calling him a babio in front of his employees. It is not fit. It is not okay. So it's also good to take care of one another. Take care of the relationship. If we are both of us, there's no problem. You can call each other the nicknames. But if this person, you know, reminding each other the jokes in front of people who are, uh, who are junior to this person. Possibly this person is a boss. Uh, not basically, he's, maybe he's a manager in a certain institution. And you go calling him and reminding him of some of the behaviors he used to do. You know, you can imagine now what happens when you leave that place. And the employees will be looking at this person as a suspect. So it's good to take care of the relationships that we have. Let people feel comfortable being around you. Let people feel good when they are around you. May you bring life into a, loo into a room when you enter that room. Let people not avoid you because they know you will you'll say something that is not pleasing. So take care of the relationships. Relationships are powerful. Relationship is the tool that God uses when he wants to bless you. Every time God wants to bless you, he uses the relationships that you have. God will bring people in your life who will become a blessing to you. That is your wisdom and that is Wisdom Talks. Thank you.